What is up, YouTube? Janky Yu-Gi-Oh here. My name is Michael. I'm playing a Toon deck because I feel like it. Um, hopefully, we don't get too wrecked. So we're going to use this effect. We're going to summon out Red Eyes Toon Dragon. We're going to play our Toon Kingdom. We're going to use our Toon Bookmark to get... Um... We'll just get the Toon Dark Magician. Then we'll use Red Eyes Effect. We're going to summon our own Toon Dark Magician. We're going to use this effect. Ditch this. And then we're going to throw out a copy of our Blacklist Soldier. And I think what we're going to do next is it's not great. But since there aren't like a ton of good rank 7s that can go into, we're just going to end on this. Not the greatest play in the world, and our opponent could probably kill us from here. But, you know, we're playing tunes. We're not here to necessarily win. Also, neat little something that could happen today. It could not. The ban list uh, could drop at any time today at by at the time of me uh well at the time of this video releases because this video is releasing on march um march 1st which is the first day that the ban list can be live our opponent's gonna red eyes fusion us and this is probably gonna wreck us take that I wonder if they mess this up and target our uh, Red Eyes Flare Dragon. That's, that'd get them. Joke's on you. Can't be destroyed by card effects while it has materials. Ha ha. You can target again all you want. You can target the BLS. Cool. The, uh, can this not be targeted or something? No, it can be targeted. Oh, is this just an actual Red Eyes deck? Oh, it is. Oh, that's pretty cool. This isn't... Uh, is it safe from... Okay, it's from my graveyard. Okay. Because if it was from either player's graveyard, I was going to really try to get them. Get our opponent good. They can attack over this, though. They're not completely out of the woodworks yet. We're not completely out of the woodworks. They can attack over this. We don't have our Toon World. Um, so, that's kind of where we're at. Uh, none of this does anything. So, we're just going to go to Battle Phase. And we're going to attempt to crash. Hey, it worked. Hey. We're attack for 2800. Um... We're going to use our Blackstone of Legend, shuffle this back in, and then add it to our hand. We can't use its effect this turn anyway, so we're just going to relax. We're just going to chill and relax. We can't use this because we don't have Toon World. Same with this. What are you doing, bud? I think our opponent gave up. Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure our opponent gave up at some point. I wonder, like... If they were trying to do some combo and they accidentally banished uh, their monsters face down. But anyway, let's get into the deck profile. We're going to cover this real quickly. So this was a card that I considered just throwing in there because I thought it was funny. Um, this is, shouldn't be in here, honestly, either. But anyway, hold on. I'll make a quick add addendum to this deck. I was going to have these in there. Anyway, let's get into deck. Profile. Playing three of this because it's okay. Uh, two of this because it's probably like the best one uh, for this level eight or higher because it banishes cards and it can summon itself pretty easily. And that's also why this is here because if both of these are here, you can um, 
can you contribute this from your hand to summon this? Uh, if you have a Toon World, I think. No, you don't even need Toon World. Okay, but uh, three uh, Dark Magicians, three Toon Red Eyes. Dark Magician summons from the deck, ignoring summoning conditions. Red Eyes summons from the hand, ignoring summoning conditions. Uh, we're playing two of this. Realistically, we could play um, Mega Fleet or the uh, one that cares about machines in our. Uh, well, Mega Fleet, I think, since it just wants a Cyber Dragon uh, monster. And this does count as a Cyber Dragon monster. I'm playing three Harpy, uh, two uh, Harpy Ladies, because it's the best level four, honestly. It special summons itself just because you have Toon World. And then if you control another Toon, you can destroy a Spell and Trap card your opponent controls. So it's just incidental Spell and Trap card removal. Playing three Blackstone of Legends, because it summons out our Toon Red Eyes Black Dragon. Or, toon, or Red Eyes Toon Dragon, because if this is any Red Eyes monster. So, this gets this out from the deck, which lets us kind of go into our rank 7 plays. Uh, one for one is another copy of this. Trade in, because these cards don't matter too much in our hand, and we can trade them in. Playing three of it, just to fill out the deck. I could play more of this if I wanted to. Uh, terraforming, to find our Toon Kingdom. Uh, Mimicat, we're playing a one copy of it, just because I... More or less, I wanted to play... I needed one more card, and I wanted to play another Toon card. And this was honestly one of the better cards. So, uh, if you control a Toon and a Toon monster, you can target one card in your opponent's graveyard. If it's a monster, you special summon it. And then if it's a spell or trap card, you can set it to your field. It's, uh, not a bad card. The Toon world, the Toon cards, the only thing that holds them back is the fact that... Um, they require a Toon world and a Toon monster, most of them, for their spell cards. And the monsters, uh, the downside for the monsters is a lot of them say, you know, you can't attack the turn that they're summoned. So it stops you from OTKing because they can't, because uh, otherwise you could, in some deck, in some things you could swarm the field and then OTK them regardless of their field or how many monsters they have. That's the idea of why they can't attack their summon because they can attack directly. Uh... Tune Table of Contents, it's the best searcher card in the game because it can search itself. And because it can, uh, it also searches literally anything in our deck. Tune Bookmark, it searches for Tune World or a card that specifically lists Tune World in its text, which is all the tunes. Uh, all these list Tune World. Um, and then. So all of them list Toon World, and all the spells list Toon World. So, uh, except for this, except for Toon Table Contents, that doesn't search that. But the Toon Table Contents does search Toon birth, Bookmark. Blah. So that is, and this protects Toon World. Next up, uh, Toon Page Flip is one of the best cards. So if you control a Toon World, uh, you reveal three Toon monsters with different names from your deck. Your opponent randomly picks one. For you to special summon, ignoring summoning conditions, and then you uh, shuffle the rest of the deck. So, with Toon Kingdom, um, if you play like Toon Kingdom or the OG Toon World, which we're playing one copy of, you can uh, play this, reveal, uh, what I like to reveal is most of the time is Toon Dark Magician, uh, Toon Red Eyes, and then either BLS or uh, Ancient Gear Golem for the tunes. The two ancient gear golem and all that, so that uh, you either have a good beat stick, or if you get tune um, dark magician or tune red eyes, you can possibly start comboing off. So keep that in mind. This card is pretty good too. Plus, you can set it. I mean, usually you don't want to set it, but you can just to throw out and protect yourself if you absolutely need to when you're playing with your friends and you're in a more casual setting. Uh. Toon World, you pay a thousand life points just to activate it. That's all it does. But it is important to have this card too. Um, it's only really, if you're going to play it, it's only good as a one of. But like I said, I wanted to fit mainly Toon cards as much as possible in this deck. And honestly, Toon World is not bad to have one of it just because you want as many. Uh, Toon Kingdoms and Toon Worlds as possible because I don't 
didn't really see anything that got Toon World or Toon Kingdom back from your graveyard uh, to the thing. But we do have protection and bookmark for uh, both of these. Uh, so yeah, we're playing two Cosmic Hands. Uh, it is a Snatch Steal, but you have to have Toon World and then, um, yeah, you have to have Toon World. If you and if you don't, it gets destroyed. But it also turns it into a tune, which is relevant because then Toon Kingdom can protect whatever you steal with Comic Hand. And then on top of that, it allows you to attack your opponent directly if they control no tunes as well, because it gives it that the tune clause. Except we're playing three Toon Kingdom. I shouldn't have to explain this. It's the bread and butter. Your opponent cannot target tune monsters uh, with card effects. Uh, and if a tune would be destroyed, you banish one face down. Its downside is you banish uh, three face down when activated. Now, our extra deck doesn't matter too much. But, here's what I threw in. Just some rank 8s. Um, I threw in one Hope Harbinger. I threw in Hope Harbinger just because it's one of the better rank 8s. Uh, this card because I like it. This card because it's still pretty good. This card because it's still pretty good. Because if it's special summon, you can activate one of the effects of send a card to your opponent controls the graveyard. That's going to be relevant. Uh, the rest of the effect doesn't matter, but that one does. Uh, for in this deck. Playing one copy of Lancelot. Lancelot can attack directly as long as it has Xyz material. And then um, when it inflicts battle damage, you destroy stuff. And then it also negates spell traps or monsters effects. That is not optional, and it doesn't say your opponent's. So you kind of get, we'll have to play around it. And how you make it is if you get out these two, basically, or more, multiple of these. Uh, next up is Flare Metal Dragon. We saw that. Um, me make this. That's pretty much the thing. Is it, it just it makes this uh, Master Blades just because you know it. it it's kind of disruption. It. In a way, you know, if you target it, if, uh, if anyone targets it, you can negate the activation and destroy any card on the field. Uh, Draco Sack, because I like Draco Sack mainly. Um, there's better cards, obviously. Uh, number Big Eye, because Big Eye can steal stuff, and that's funny. And it says this card can't attack, but the monster it, take, it takes can still attack. That was relevant back in Dragon Ruler format. So was Big Eye. Big Eye Wars was a thing in Dragon Rulers. That was really funny. Uh, whoever made Big Eye first usually ended up losing. Uh, we're playing the Utopia and Utopia the Lightning Package because there are certain cards that these two are required to get over and just deal with. Even though our tunes can get around most things. Uh, that's the thing. Uh, we're playing um, uh, Baguska, 101, Castell, and Abyss Dweller because they're some of the best ranked fours. And you'll, you notice we only have four, but that's okay. We can comic hand uh, our opponent's level 4s because most people have level 4s in their deck. If they don't, oh well. Um, these cards aren't really important in the extra deck. They're just kind of filler as I don't like not having an extra deck unless I'm playing maybe Exodia. And even then, uh, you can still make the argument of Pot of Extravagance since most of our draw spells are in the form of traps for the Exodia decks. Anyway, that is it for today. If... Well, that's it for this video. I'm not going to say for today in case we get that ban list. But, uh, if it is your birthday today, happy birthday. If you want to send me any cool deck profiles or replays, my email is in the description to do so. I would love to see what you can come up with for tunes or any other deck you can think of. If you have any suggestions for the Casual Duel series, leave them in the comment section below. And of course, and as always, have a wonderful day.